Today, folks, we're going to be making a magnetic beard. So let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to STEM at Home. My name is Kevin Beck and I'm Lenovo's resident explainer of things. I'm here today to talk to you about the science behind electromagnets. And we're gonna have some fun, but first, just a quick note. Science is a lot of fun, but sometimes it can be a little bit dangerous. So please make sure that you have an adult present when you're building your electromagnet. So what we're gonna be showing here is some basic concepts around electromagnetism. We'll have a wire wrapped around a nail and then hooked to a battery, which will generate an electrical field throughout the uh, iron nail and make an electromagnet. In computing, magnetic fields are present all over the place. One of the more interesting ways that magnetic fields are used in computing is to tell if the lid of a laptop is closed. All right, folks, we're gonna start with our iron nail. It does need to be iron, and we need our copper wire. Now we're gonna use a pretty long length of this so that we have enough wire to work with. And then I'm just gonna use my pliers to cut that. So what we wanna do is leave enough wire on the end so that we have plenty of room to connect it to our battery. This really works best if you get it as tight as possible. And the more coils that you put around the nail with the wire, the stronger the electromagnet is going to be. We just wanna keep doing this until we have covered at least half the nail. Okay, folks, if you have really thin wire, you should be able to make this long enough to connect to your battery and still have room to use it as an electromagnet. My wire is a little bit stiff, so I'm gonna take some flexible wire and I'm gonna connect up some leads to make sure we can use this to make our magnetic mustache. Now we've got our battery and we're gonna clip our wire in as low as possible, right down at the bottom. So we are now connected to the battery and let's make sure this works. So I've got some paper clips. What we should expect to see is that our electromagnet will now pick up our paper clips. You can see we've made a pretty strong magnet. All right, folks, so here we go. Here's our cardboard box. And what I've got is a drawing of me. So I'm gonna take the electromagnet we made and I'm gonna go under my box here. And there we go. Make a nice little magnetic beard. Thank you for joining me on this episode of STEM at Home. I really hope you enjoyed learning about electromagnets while we built our magnetic beard. Stay tuned for future episodes of this series, and we'll see you soon.